Hi guys, um, on the Chelsea front today, not too much uh, apart from Manchester United fans apparently looking to sue Hammersmith and Fulham Council who have taken the decision through um, implications from the Metropolitan Police because our game has been moved against Manchester United to a later kickoff, 5.30pm on a Saturday night, which to be fair is pretty ridiculous. Um, and they've already sold just under 3,000 tickets and I believe 500 tickets have got to be returned which will be done on a ballot basis so United fans are pretty triggered as to uh, the decision that's been made to be honest with you I can see their concerns and I can see their point um, let's be fair here I think it's been all done with the benefit uh, to ourselves but you know you have to say we should have enough police to be able to um, uh, handle um, a situation at any time when a game's been moved. We all know as supporters we get dragged about with um, kickoff times. It is a ridiculous um, time slot for a game of football. I mean, something like that, what's going to end, what, 8.30, time you get out, 9.30, 10. I won't get home until gone midnight because obviously I live outside of London. So, as far as Monday United fans are uh, concerned, it's going to be even even longer. Uh, they probably won't get home until one or if not two in the morning. And, um, you know, it's it's these kickoff times get moved about willy-nilly to suit television audiences overseas. And uh, there's no kind of um, consideration at all taken into account for supporters. And on this one, I kind of get where Manchester United are going, I've taken my Chelsea hat off and as a fellow supporter I can see their um, uh, you know, frustration and the reasons why they're upset on this particular one. Uh, other news about Chelsea acquiring land um, to with the uh, uh, stadium redevelopment in mind, uh, it looks like um, we're in a bit of a bidding war uh, on that front and it looks like we're trying to, you know, um, secure that situation so that we can redevelop behind the Matthew Harding um, which kind of makes sense and it's development to the left of the um, West End uh, kind of um, concourse if you like um, so we'll have to wait on that front but clearly as a football club um, we're, we're, we're definitely making waves on that as we know we're also linked with a lot of clubs around the, around the world we're looking to kind of emulate what Manchester City are doing and I see there's also some kind of um, business proposition that uh, Todd Bowie is trying to put into place regarding um, uh, aircraft um, I'll have to kind of study that a little bit more guys but um, it's very very clear that um, our new owners absolutely mean business um, taking Chelsea on a completely utterly different level Good news on the Reese James front, uh, at least his injury uh, that he picked up where he kind of bobbled off uh, against AC Milan. Um, it doesn't seem to be as uh, sort of bad as what was once worst, you know, first fall. So with a bit of luck, he should be able to return. Maybe not against Aston Villa, we should have to wait and see. But um, we don't want to be without him, he's, he's absolutely quality. Listen, things are really looking good right now, you know, um, top of our Champions League group, you know, the two games in, one point facing AC Milan back to back, and six points, five goals scored, none conceded. We're in a good position right now, our next game is obviously away in Austria against Salzburg. A draw there I think will be good enough. A win, and we absolutely uh, win it, no, no, you know, no problems at all. If we were to lose that game, I fully expect AC Milan to be Zagreb in um, their second from last game, which would mean they would also then be on seven points. Uh, and I think really we'll still be in a commanding position because our final game against Zagreb at home, I think we'll win that particular game and, and we'll qualify whatever. I think we've done the hardest part, which was the two back-to-back victories against AC Milan which we were superb by the way absolutely superb ah, exciting times guys really really exciting times um, just good to speak to you as uh, as I try to most days but um, if anything comes up 
on the Chelsea front. Or uh, I'll put another video up, but uh, much love as always, and as always, up with Chelsea. Keep the blue flag flying, guys.